I've been doing resistance training for the last 10 years and it has had one of the most impactful effects on my health. However, there have been several meta-analyses over the past few years that indicate how too much resistance training might increase your risk of mortality. Is that true and what's the optimal dose of lifting weights for longevity? That's what I'll be covering in this video, so make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for more future updates about optimizing your health and longevity. Let's start with a 2022 systematic review and meta-analysis of 16 cohort studies which found that muscle strengthening activities with resistance training were associated with a 10 to 17 percent lower risk of all-cause mortality, cardiovascular disease, total cancer, diabetes, and lung cancer. The maximum risk reduction for all-cause mortality, cardiovascular disease, and cancer was observed at a dose of 30 to 60 minutes per week. However, after 60 minutes per week, the benefits of resistance training on risk reduction started to diminish, and beyond 140 minutes per week, it apparently was associated with an increased risk of all-cause mortality. Another 2022 systematic review and meta-analysis on 10 studies discovered similar results. The maximum risk reduction of 27% was observed at 60 minutes per week with the benefits diminishing at higher doses. So this study found the same phenomenon of a J-shaped curve. Doing no resistance training is bad for you and is associated with increased risk. But doing too much resistance training also starts to increase your risk. So the optimal amount is somewhere in the middle, a moderate amount of resistance training. What's the reason for this phenomenon is not really known. A 2023 study sought to answer this question and postulated that the mechanisms underlying this J-shaped phenomenon include increased arterial stiffness and chronic inflammation from too much training. The current observational data suggests that more is is not better when it comes to resistance training, but this needs to be confirmed by randomized controlled trials that would directly test the dose-response effect of resistance training on mortality and cardiovascular disease. The authors of one of the 2022 studies speculated that the increased risk after 140 minutes per week of lifting would only apply to the elderly aged over 65, but their analysis didn't differentiate between age groups. Thus, we don't have any data currently on the dose-response of resistance training on mortality risk based on the person's age. Theoretically, an older person who is engaged with excessive resistance training might see increased risk after a certain point because they are more likely to experience age-related frailty and muscle loss. Although resistance training in the elderly is linked with greater muscle retention and lower mortality, if it becomes too much, then I speculate that it would result in too much catabolism on the body or too much stress on the heart, which could mediate the increased mortality. So when it comes to the dose-specific ratios between resistance training and aerobic training, then we have a 2023 systematic review that included the same studies that showed the J-curved associations with resistance training. But it also found that the more moderate physical activity, the lower your all-cause mortality risk. It even outperformed vigorous activity at high levels, with vigorous activity reducing your mortality risk by 17% at up to 200 to 700 minutes per week, while moderate physical activity reduced your all-cause mortality by 35%, even if you engaged in it over 900 minutes per week. With respect to cardiovascular disease mortality, the more moderate physical activity, the lower the risk, minus 40% at 900 minutes per week. For vigorous physical activity, the benefits were maximized at 150 to 200 minutes per week, resulting in a 15% reduction. After that, there was a reduction in benefits. The takeaway based on all of these studies is that you don't see progressively more benefits in your mortality risk reduction and longevity by doing more vigorous activity. After a certain point, you hit the plateau of the most benefits and if you keep doing more than that, then it actually increases your risk and might be more counterproductive. Whereas the opposite is the case with moderate physical activity. The more <laughs> moderate physical activity you do, the lower your risk of mortality generally appears to be. For vigorous exercise, the plateau appears to be around 200 minutes per week. However, doing less than 200 minutes per week of vigorous exercise is worse than doing 200 minutes per week. Conversely, you do keep getting benefits the more moderate exercise you do. 800 minutes of moderate exercise per week is better than 200 minutes of moderate exercise per week. So if you were to design your exercise plan for the week, then it appears that more moderate physical activity outperforms more vigorous physical activity. And the benefits of vigorous physical activity plateau after 200 minutes per week, whereas you can do even a thousand minutes per week of moderate physical activity, and it doesn't appear to increase your risk at all. It actually reduces your mortality risk even more. Over the past few years, and even currently, there's a lot of talk on social media about the importance of lifting weights. That 
that is true as I've stated throughout this video, lifting weights is good for you, especially if you're over 65 years old. But as these meta-analyses show, too much resistance training might be bad for you and it might be counterproductive. Whether or not it is actually true is to be confirmed by future randomized controlled trials. But some of the changes that I've decided to make to my exercise routine is to dial down slightly on the resistance training and to increase my moderate physical activity and aerobic exercise. Because if you compare head to head the benefits and risk reductions of resistance training and high intensity exercise versus moderate aerobic exercise, then moderate aerobic exercise apparently actually gives you a lot more risk reduction for longevity. A 2020 meta-analysis on 11 studies found that compared to no exercise, resistance training was associated with 21% lower all-cause mortality and 17% lower cardiovascular disease mortality. However, resistance training and aerobic exercise combined resulted in 40% lower all-cause mortality. That's more evidence suggesting that the combination of cardio and resistance training is what's most optimal for longevity. In conclusion, you should certainly increase your muscle strength, you should certainly lift weights because it is good for you and it does reduce your risk of mortality. But you should certainly not neglect cardiorespiratory fitness as well because individually head to head cardiorespiratory fitness appears to reduce the risk of mortality a lot more than just lifting weights and having strength. If you are lifting weights three times per week then you're already maximizing the longevity benefits of doing resistance training and lifting weights three times per week will put you somewhere between 100 to 140 minutes of resistance training per week which is still like the lower risk but lifting weights more than that five to six times per week will generally put you into above the 140 minutes per week category you know which at least based on these studies these meta-analyses over the past few years that have been consistently showing that above 140 minutes per week doing the resistance training might be actually counterproductive and might increase the risk of mortality so you don't really see additional health benefits after lifting more than three times per week if you want to add an additional workout into your workout routine of the week then you shouldn't do more than three times per week of weightlifting you should add more cardio if you are interested in working more than three times per week there doesn't appear to be any point of diminishing returns for moderate physical activity and cardio so the more moderate physical activity you do the better it is for your health and longevity whereas when it comes to vigorous physical activity and resistance training then the benefits appear to plateau after a certain point where this plateau for resistance training and vigorous activity is we don't really know because we don't have the randomized controlled trials that would test it but based on these observational meta-analyses then yeah i would suggest that you know three times per week of weightlifting and resistance training is the best and then you should add more moderate physical activity and cardio if you want to add more workouts to your week all right that's it for this video make sure you click a like subscribe notification bell as well my name is seem stay optimized stay empowered